There are 44 outfits in Horizon Forbidden West, if our calculations are right. All based on the many tribes we see in the game. And we have quite a lot of unique ones. But you will also notice a lot of color swaps. In the outfit menu, you can sort on playstyle. So we want to kind of go over it like that. And of course, I will tell you how to get each outfit as well. Let's start with the Hunter playstyle. You of course start the game with the Nora Anointed outfit. Which is also known as the Shield Weaver in Horizon Zero Dawn. Only now without the lights although as you might know with the special overshield valor search you can get this effect back we also have the nora champion outfit which is basically the shield weaver but with a brown color and this an infiltrator armor you can get this by helping people in chain scrape and doing the bristol back side mission which opens up after the embassy early on in the game the new outfit you can buy in baron light is called the nora sentinel armor which you might also remember from zero dawn there it was called the Nora Survivor armor and this was then the heavy variant. In Forbidden West you need to kill the new Sky Drifter machine in order to buy the outfit. Brand new is the Utaru Treasure outfit with the awesome Utaru mask and the tattoos on Aloy's arm. You can buy this one at the Stitcher in the Scalding Spear and we got the Utaru Whisperer which you can get during a chest in the Dying Lands main mission as well which is a variant of this. And you also have the Utaru Harvester also a similar design and this was actually the outfit that Alo used in the summer gameplay demo during that mission that is sadly not in the final game. And you can by the way already get this early on at Plainsong at the Outfitter there. One of the outfits I bought early on and used a lot as noted in the things you want to get early video is the Tanakh Skirmisher which you can also buy at Scalding Spear. But yeah, as you might know, there are a lot of reskins of this armor in the game. One is the Tanakh Vanquisher from the arena and you also have the Tanakh High Marshal which you get during the main story. But more on that one in a moment. The Tanakh Reaver Purple Armor is a reward from a side quest called the Blood Choke which you start over here on the map. Overall, I'm a huge fan of these Tanakh style outfits, especially the helmet I think looks awesome. We also have the Tanakh Recon, which looks similar. You can buy this at the Outfit Fender in Thornmarsh. Although, personally, I think there are even cooler Tanakh outfits, and I will touch on them a little later. The Nora Valiant is a Bible outfit at Lowlands Path, over here on the map or the Stitcher in Legacy's Landfall. This outfit is great for if you like Aloy in a more OG style outfit. There is a variant of this, the Nora Legacy outfit, which was the pre-order bonus. It looks less advanced, but it does have this small cape, which I actually do dig. And I'm not sure if the pre-order items will become available later on. In Zero Dawn, the special outfits released later, but only as part of the complete edition. One of the deluxe edition items for Forbidden West is called the Nora Thunder Elite, which I really dig thanks to the red color, but there's also a regular variant as you might know, and you can get this one in the arena. It's really one of the best armors in the game. Only the sad part is, you can of course go to the dyer to change the color of the outfits, but you cannot find that red color that you get from the deluxe edition outfit. So that is still exclusive, although I hope they change that later on. And if you, by the way, like the video so far, then leaving a like on it would be amazing. And subscribe for way more Horizon videos like this. You already see footage of the melee fighting pit in Chain Scrape, where you actually get to wear this armor already. And then after you continue with the main story, the shops in Chain Scrape open up. And they get by this outfit called the Ulceram Explorer. I think it looks awesome in orange, but I paid the shards for the red version, which I think looks even better. Please Gorilla at Transmog because I would love to wear this over better armor sets in the game. Because then you could also rock the deluxe edition items later on in the game. We namely have the Karja Behemoth Elite as a pretty nice melee armor early on. I really like the yellow color, although to be fair I prefer the original which you can just earn in the game at Thormarsh. This is the Karja Behemoth Trapper with the amazing purple colors. The white armor looks really good as well, love the chest and the hat. We find a full on Osram outfit as the Arrow Breaker which you can buy at the Stitcher at the Bulwark. I totally get why you would like the more regular Osram look. But I think there are better designs for Aloy, like this Osram Wayfarer. You can buy this one at Plainsong already. Once again, it has a hairband, so really love the waist. And there is a reskin of this too, called the Osram Forester, which you can find inside a chest within Spinebreak. 
and you go here during the side mission breaking even. You start that one over here on the map. Overall, I really dig this design. The Tanakh Marauder Warrior Armor is available at Thormarsh, but to be fair, I love the Tanakh Sky Climber more with the Sky Tanakh colors. You get this from an errant first to fly, which you start over here on the map. It's a survivor armor with some pretty good perks, but I especially love the look. At the Hunter, over here on the map at False Edge, you can buy this Osram Striker outfit, giving Aloy some decent protection. And it seems like there's only one variant of this, although you can of course change the color at the Dire. As you might already know, but the best warrior armor in the game is the Osram Artificer, which I love in terms of look. And this is totally the armor that requires the most time to get, because you need to complete all four salvage contracts locations and I will leave a link to their locations in the video description. It's totally worth it. Now moving on to the Trapper playstyle, starting with an old favorite, also from Zero Dawn, the Karja Blazon. And you can get this one pretty easily and also very early on by going to the Rebel Camp Eastern Lie and then looking for a chest there. It's over here on the map. Now I already think the original design is awesome, but I always check the dyer to see if I can make the armors even more red. And that's the case here. And I think this looks even better. So yeah, check it out. We saw the Karja Wanderer quite often in pre-launch material. I always dig Karja designs and the blue original color already makes it stand out. You can get this one at a stitcher in the Scalding Spear. Another amazing Karja design is the Karja Trader Armor, which can buy at the Armor Fender in Legacy's Landfall over here on the map. I love the headgear for this armor, although you can of course unequip that at any point in the general settings. It's the final option there. The armor then still looks awesome without the headpiece. The legendary Karja Stalker Elite is of course a true standout for the Trapper playstyle. You can earn this in the arena and this is what a high class Karja of course looks like. I really really dig it. So we already touched on that pre-order outfit for the Survivor playstyle. So let's move on to the Karja Shadow which you can buy at Plainsong. And yes, this another returning Zero Dawn outfit. One of my favorites, by the way. The only downside is that in the Forbidden West, the helmet can sometimes clip through Aloy's face during conversations. So I hope they improve that. But overall, it's great that it's back. There's another full-on Osram outfit, the Osram Vanguard, this time with more substantial headgear, but the same familiar tribe traits. Zero Dawn only had a few Osram outfits, so it's cool that we get more in the Forbidden West, although, as I already said, it's not really my style. You can buy this outfit at Defender in a Legacy's Landfall. Then we go over to one of Gorilla's favorite designs, because we got a lot of reskins for this Utaru Ride Singer. You can buy this Survivor Armor at Thormarsh. So this one has the yellow touches but you also have the Utaru Warden with more the green nature look and you can get this one from completing the second first main mission and then returning to so in plain song we also have the Utaru Protector which has white touches that match well with the Utaru tattoos you need to complete the forbidden legacy for this which is a side mission with Alva and then afterwards return to Alva in Legacy's Landfall to get the outfit and at the stitcher there you can buy the Grave Singer variant which my least favorite in terms of look but it does have some decent perks overall it's not that exciting and it's overall kind of sad that two big side quest rewards from like companions of the main story is the same outfit but in a different color i wish they would like put some more effort into that the og aloy look is the first infiltrator armor you can get the nora huntress it's available at chain scrape again after doing some main story missions there maybe you noticed it already it feels kind of weird to see aloy in this outfit in this new game but i think it's cool that they made it available and going into the sequel i first thought that we would not see as many nora outfits Outfits because the tribe is of course not in this region but no we see quite a lot another infiltrator armor is called the Nora tracker you can buy this at thorn marsh if you want personally not a big fan but of course let me know if you like it in the comments down below then we go to the Utaru hard weave with the orange legs and hands looks decent you can buy this at thorn marsh and in that same fender you can also find the Utaru winter weave the legendary infiltrator armor which as you can see, is a reskin of the Hardweave one. But I do like this a bit more because, hey, it's red. 
And it's a great armor for if you want to go in stealth. I hinted at a cool to knock armor. And yeah, that is this one. The dragoon armor you can buy at the Hunter in False Edge. It's really amazing thanks to the awesome helmet with the Velociraptor like eyes and hair. This might be my favorite look in the game. It's for the Machine Master playstyle. And if you did not know yet, I made a big video on that playstyle because it's way better than I first thought. We'll leave a link to that in the video description. That video mostly focuses on the Tanakh Tactician Armor, the legendary Machine Master one you can get at Thorn Marsh, which also looks amazing, I think. And there is a reskin called the Tanakh Marshal with the blue touches. You can find that one in a chest near the arena. You walk past this before the Cool Root main mission, so high chance that you already got it. Also, in our early things video, we touched on the Tanakh Vindicator Armor from the Deluge side mission, which you can start. In scalding spear by going to the painter or you can just explore the area above a scalding spear to see it this one is unique and has the amazing Tanakh paint over a or her body and it's also a pretty powerful armor in terms of stats that again you can get very early on now the next outfits are spoilers for the main story I will not like go in depth or anything but I will of course showcase the outfits if you're leaving now, of course, don't forget to leave a like, would really help me out, and subscribe for way more Horizon content. Okay, you're still here, let's start with Sobek's Raymond. you get during a special main mission after you completed the three main missions you can do in any order. Let's describe it like that. Yeah, there's really no outfit like it, it feels kind of out of place as well, but it has some pretty good stats overall, while you would think that it would not protect or enhance Aloy at all. The other armor I quickly want to touch on is the Tanakh High Marshal, you namely get this from a story choice. During the Wings of the Ten main mission, you need to choose the hard icon to get this outfit. Although, I would argue that going for the fist is better for a really nice bow, but that's up to you. Don't check out our previous Horizon video on how to easily get the best armor and weapons in the game with arena tips and how to hunt Apex machines. Subscribe, of course, for everything Horizon if you haven't already. And a like on the video would really help me out. Let me know your favorite outfit in the comments down below. And for now, I'll speak to you soon. Goodbye.